Hello guys. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing. In this video, we are going to create split typography animation in a light motion. Before we start the video, let's see the preview. Okay let's get started. Tap on this plus icon to create a new project. Here, select 16, 9 aspect ratio. And my resolution is 1080 pixels with 30 frames per seconds. And my background color is black. Now rename your project name here. And now, tap on create project. Now add your text. Now change this text color into white. Now change text font. Use any bold font. I am going to using Oswald bold font. Now increase the text size. Now align it to center. Cool. Now rename this layer as main text. Now duplicate this text layer. Rename this text layer as up1. Place it here. Now duplicate this text layer. Rename it as down1. And place this one here. Now move to 15 frames forward. At the frame number 15, add a move keyframe. To up one layer. At the beginning of this layer, reposition text as I shown in the video. Now select this layer. At the frame number 15, add a move keyframe. At the beginning of this layer, reposition text as I shown in the video. Have a look. As you can see, this is Leonir animation. Let's convert this animation into smooth animation. Select this layer. Tap on move and transform. Now tap on this curve icon. Select this curve here. Do, same for this one. Let's adjust curves. Drag this handle here, and this one here. Now do, same for this one. Have a look. Now select up one text layer, and duplicate it. Rename it as, up two. Perfect. Now, from this keyframe, move 15 frames forward. But here, reposition it as I shown in the video. Let's make smooth animation to this text. Adjust curves something like this. Now duplicate up to text layer. Rename it as up3. From this keyframe, move 15 frames forward. But here, reposition this text layer as I shown in the video. Now adjust keyframe curves. Now do same as upside.
I have created one more text on upside and downside. Have a look. Now import a rectangle shape. Resize it as I shown in the video. Tap on edit shape. Now increase X value here. Now tap on move and transform. Here tap on scale icon. Now unlink here. Adjust scale here. Place this shape on text. Drag this layer to top. Now adjust this shape position and size. Now change this shape color to black. Now rename it as Mask 1. Now duplicate this mask layer. Rename it as Mask 2. Now increase Mask 2 layer size as I shown in the video. Drag it here. And this one here. Now adjust the size. Now do same for remaining text layers. Have a look. From this keyframe move 5 frames backwards. 7 is perfect. Now select mask 2 layer, and up 2 text and down 2 text layers. And move here. Start this keyframe from here. Now deselect. Now select this three layers. And start this keyframes from here. Now select this three layers. And start this keyframes from here. Have a look. I already told you right, seven frames is perfect. Have a look. Perfect. Now select this main text layer. Increase this layer duration up to 5 seconds. Now select all layers. Deselect this layer. And now increase all layers duration. 
Perfect. Now change text colors you like. Have a look. Now create reverse animation. I am not going to explain this one. You can download my project file from description. Have a look. Now change mask 1 layer color. Also mask 2 and 3 and 4. This is how it's look without mask. Now select mask 1, up 1 and down 1 layers. Tap on this icon to mask. Do, same for remaining layers.
perfect. Let's create outline effect. Select first layer, and tap on edit group. Here, select first text layer. Tap on color. Here, decrease color transparency. Now tap on border and shadow. Enable stroke here. Change stroke color to white. This is how I create outline effect. This is our today's episode guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button, and subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Have a nice day guys.